Hello everybody, I am Suman Matthews and today we would be discussing a topic in graduate mathematics that is linear differential equation with variable coefficients. In an earlier video, we have discussed linear differential equation with constant coefficients. Now this channel has math videos for grades 11, 12, graduate mathematics and the GRE coin section. So do consider subscribing to this channel and do consider visiting my page and please let me know if there is anything else I could help you with. So in this uh, video we will be discussing Legendre's linear equation and Cauchy's linear equation and both there are two problems one on Legendre's equation and the other on Cauchy's equation. So do stay with me throughout the video. Now, by a Legendre's equation, we mean an equation of the form a0 into ax plus b the whole squared y double dash that is second order derivative plus a1 ax plus b y dash plus a2 y equal to 5x. Now, for solving a Legendre's equation, we put ax log ax plus b s t or ax plus b s e raised to t. So, taking the derivative with respect to x, we get a by ax plus b is dt by dx because derivative of log ax plus b is 1 by ax plus b into a. So dy by dx using the chain rule it is dy by dt into dt by dx. So y dash which is dy by dx equal to dy where d is d by dt. So y dash equal to dy and dt by dx is a by ax plus b. Cross multiplying you get ax plus b into y dash equal to a dy. Similarly, continuing you get a, ax plus b the whole squared y double dash equal to a squared d into d minus 1 y ax plus b the whole cubed y triple dash will be a cubed d into d minus 1 into d minus 2 y squared and so on. And coming to Cauchy's equation, this is an application of Legendre's equation where from Legendre's equation, we put a as 1 and b is 0. So this is Legendre's equation and it becomes a0 x squared y double dash plus a1 x y dash plus a2 y equal to 5x. Again, the method is the same. We put log x equal to t. So taking the derivative with respect to x, 1 by x is equal to dt by dx. Now using chain rule, dy by dx is dy by dt into dt by dx. So y dash equal to dy into 1 by x. Across multiplying we get x y dash equal to dy. Continuing similarly we get x squared y double dash equal to d into d minus 1 y. x cubed y triple dash equal to d into d minus 1 into d minus 2 y and so on. Coming to the first question. Solve x squared d2 y by dx squared minus 3x dy by dx plus 4y equal to 1 plus x the whole squared. This is a Cauchy's equation. So we put log x as t. So as explained in the introduction x y dash equal to dy x squared y double dash equal to d into d minus 1 y. Substituting in this equation we get d into d minus 1 y minus 3 dy plus 4 y equal to 1 plus x becomes 1 plus e raised to t the whole squared because log x is t so x is e raised to t. So simplifying this we get d squared minus 4d plus 4y equal to 1 plus 2 e raised to t plus e raised to 2t. The auxiliary equation is m squared minus 4m plus 4 equal to 0. In one of my earlier videos I have explained what is the auxiliary equation. So I have m minus 2 the whole squared equal to 0 or m equal to 2 twice. So your solution will be c1 plus c2 t e raised to 2 t. Again in one of my earlier videos when a root is repeated the solution will be c1 plus c2 x e raised to mx where m is the root which is repeated. So your yp becomes c1 plus c2 substituting for t log x and e raised to t becomes x squared. Now the complementary function will be 1 by d squared minus 4d plus 4 plus 2 e raised to t by d squared minus 4d plus 4 plus e raised to 2t by d squared minus 4d plus 4 because this is what you have on the right hand side. So we divide each term by d squared minus 4d plus 4. That will become now e raised to ax by fd equal to e raised to ax by fa if fa not equal to 0. 
equal to x e raised to x by f dash a if f dash a not equal to 0. If f a equal to 0, then again we write it as x e raised to x by f dash a. So this becomes this e raised to 0 t. So e raised to 0 t substituting t equal d equal to 0, we get 4. Here if I substitute t equal to 1, I get 2 e raised to t by 1 minus 4 plus 4. Now here if I substitute t equal to 2, we get uh, 4, 4 squared. So 4 into this will give you 2d minus 4 because when I substitute d equal to 2 here, you get 4 minus 8 plus 4. So this is 0. So you have to apply this formula here. So it becomes t raised to 2t by 2d minus 4. And now again applying the formula, this becomes 1 by 4 plus 2 e raised to t. Again if I substitute t equal to 2, I get 0. So it becomes t squared by 2 e raised to 2t. t squared e raised to 2t by derivative of 2d which is 2. So you get 1 by 4 substituting for e raised to t. 1 by 4 plus 2x plus log x the whole squared x squared by 2. So your solution will be c1 plus c2 log x x squared which we just saw earlier. And this is a comp the particular integral 1 by 4 plus 2x plus log x the whole squared x squared by 2. Practice makes you perfect. So take a pen and paper and work along with me. Keep working till you are able to master the problem and able to do it without looking. Coming to the second question. Solve 3x plus 2 the whole squared y double dash plus 3 into 3x plus 2 y dash minus 36y equal to 8x squared plus 4x plus 1. Now this is a Legendre equation. So we put log 3x plus 2 equal to t or e raised to t as 3x plus 2. Differentiating this with respect to x we get dt by dx is 3 by 3x plus 2 that is 1 by 3x plus 2 into derivative of 3x plus 2 which is 3. Using the chain rule dy by dx is dy by dt into dt by dx. So y dash equal to dy 3 by 3x plus 2. Cross multiplying you get 3x plus 2 y dash equal to 3 dy. Continuing similarly we get 3x plus 2 the whole squared y double dash equal to 9d into d minus 1y. As we saw in the introduction earlier. Now substituting in the equation we get 9d into d minus 1y plus 3 3dy minus 36y equal to 8. In this equation we substitute x as e raised to t minus 2 by 3. So this will give you e raised to t minus 2 by 9 the whole squared plus 4 e raised to t minus 2 by 3. It's 3 the whole squared plus 1. Simplifying we get 9 d squared minus 4 y equal to. After simplifying we get 8 by 9 e raised to 2 t minus 20 by 9 e raised to t plus 17 by 9. So d squared minus 4y is 8 by 81 e raised to 2t minus 20 by 81 e raised to t plus 17 by 81. Auxiliary equation is m squared minus 4 equal to 0. So m equal to plus or minus 2. So your complementary function is c1 e raised to t plus c2 e raised to minus 2t. Again in an earlier video I had explained how to calculate the auxiliary function. Now the particular integral will be minus 8 by 81. We divide each term by d squared minus 4. So it is e raised to 2t by d squared minus 4 minus 20 by 81 e raised to t by d squared minus 4 plus 17 by 81. 1 becomes e raised to 0t by d squared minus 4. Again if I have to substitute here the denominator becomes 0 if I substitute t equal to 2. So y equal to c1 e raised to minus 2t plus c2 e raised to 2t minus 8 by 81. This becomes t e raised to 2t. Derivative of d squared is 2d. You make use of the fact that if f a equal to 0, then it becomes x e raised to a x by f dash a. And the rest of the terms are the same. You can substitute t equal to 1 and t equal to 0 here. So we get minus 20 by 81 e raised to t by minus 3 plus 17 by 81 into minus 4. Simplifying we get y equal to c1 e raised to minus 2t plus c2 e raised to 2t minus 4t by 81 e raised to 2t by d. And these become when you simplify 20 by 243 e raised to t minus 17 by 324. 
you can now substitute t equal to 2 here so it becomes d is 2 and you get all the other terms are the same this is minus 4t by 81 e raised to t 2t by 2 now substituting for e raised to t as 3x plus 2 this becomes c1 e raised to 3x plus 2 raised to minus 2 plus c2 3x plus 2 squared minus 2 by 81 simplifying you get log 3x plus 2 3x plus 2 the whole square plus 20 by 243 3x plus 2 minus 17 by 324 so what have we learned how to solve the legendary equation how to solve the Cauchy's equation and how to calculate the complementary function and particular integral in each case so consider subscribing to my channel if this video was helpful or consider visiting my playlist for more videos on graduate mathematics. I love to hear your feedback and comments. Thank you.